Hello, this is Mr. Doty, and today we're going to look at how do we do uh, bearing, slope, and grade. Now, this isn't necessarily the most easiest thing to do, but it's not hard either, and uh, we'll work through it. So the uh, first assignment and the second part of our descriptive geometry, or DG, uh, two problems. It says, given the adjacent horizontal and front views, so you see we have the horizontal, which is the top view, and then the front view. Um, given that, then you're supposed to find the bearing, slope, and grade. Now, this is not true length. This is not true length. Therefore, I can't give you the slope angle here because it's not true length. I'm not looking directly at it. It's a um, oblique line. In other words, it's not it's not lined up to where I can look directly at it. Okay. So what do I need to do? Well, first of all, <clears throat> I need to create a fold line up here that's parallel with this line so that I can find the true length. <clears throat> now, I can find the bearing of my line here in the top view. That I can find. So the first thing I need to do is go, okay, well, what is the angle between north, this vertical line here, and the line that I have? That angle is going to be my bearing angle, okay? So how do I figure that out? Well, one thing I can do is I can go up here to my angle dimensions and pick that and it would appear to be 63 degrees so there's my first answer I can put up here is 63 degrees that's pretty simple okay well then the next thing I need to do is uh, I'm gonna use this thing called an X line or not an X line array and um, what I like to do with that one is it'll go, I can type in PER for perpendicular and I can pick on this line there. I can do the same thing from here. PER. So now I have these lines projecting perpendicularly to my fold line which is parallel with this. Well, remember, anytime that you have a line parallel with a fold line, it's true length in the adjacent view. It's not true length down here, it's true length up here. All right, so where do I get my measurements to figure this out? Well, you always go, if you're projecting from this view, this direction, obviously there's nothing to measure up here, and you're not supposed to measure off of the, of the view that you are projecting from. So you have to go back one more view to this guy down here, and that's the one you're going to use. Uh, my tool of choice is to use the offset button, and I usually will measure without putting any distance in how far it is, and that sets my offset distance, and then I just offset my line like so. I'm going to go out of it and back in to offset and this is perpendicular now to the fold line and then this is my original fold line. Alright so these are the two points so A goes here and then goes up this way so this is A right here so I can take this and copy it copy it up to right there and then I can take B and copy B from here up to that point because that's where the other point is. Now all I have to do is draw a line from there to there. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to trim this up so, um, well, and actually it doesn't matter. I don't even need this. Um, and I 
I don't need this anymore. So I'm just going to leave this one here so that I have something to figure out my slope angle. Alright, so this is my bearing. Okay, my slope angle is going to be this angle right here. Okay, so that's 41 degrees. So my bearing 63, it goes here. Slope angle is 41, it goes here. Now it asks for percent grade. Well, that's rise over run times 100. Unless I miss something. So uh, I've done this a few times, so hopefully I'm not off by much, right? So what do I need to do? I need to do a linear dimension. So I need to go from here up to here. And I should have used the aligned dimension because I wasn't thinking. Let's try again. Linear only does horizontal and vertical, so there you go. Aligned, and then I need this. So, and I'll just pull it up there. It makes it kind of a triangle. So now I have 1.34 is my run, and 116 or 1.16 is my rise. So you're supposed to take rise over run. So if I were to pull up this lovely calculator over here, right? Here, let's stick him over here, I guess. It's kind of big. I'll make him a little smaller. There we go. All right. So I'm supposed to take the rise divided by the run. So 1.16 uh, divided by 1.34 is equal to 0.865, which if you multiply it by 100 gives you a percentage of 86.56 or you can round it to 87 degrees uh, they don't really say I don't believe what you would round it to but typically when you're measuring an angle you'll go to the half degree so we'll do 86.6 right so percent grade is and if you're plus or minus a little bit that's fine no big deal but uh, so anyway, I'm going to go here and well, hopefully my text is a certain height that might work. We'll try it. And then zero is your thing there. And so bearing is 63, right? And uh, I'll do my little cheat, percent, percent D. That's D as in dog. And then I will... I'll pick another spot right there. Slope angle, that's 41 degrees. And then it's percent percent D. That gives me my degree mark. And then I'm going to pick down here. And my percent grade, I said, was 86.6%. Right? So that's our percent grade. So you think about it. That's a 41 degree angle. You don't really want to be going up too much up a 41, you know, more than a 41 degree angle there because that's going to be pretty steep and kind of scary, right? Kind of like going up Pikes Peak. So think about that. Think about what percentage grade that is. All right. So this is how we do this problem. And uh, basically, in the other set of problems that you're given, uh, you're given three different ones. And they give you what the true length of this line is. Oh, wait a minute. Let me just double click. There we go. You have to enter twice to finish out your text. That was single line text, by the way. Now I could have used multi-line and done the same thing. So for this this problem here, this is all I'm looking for. Because I already have this view, I already had this view. I just need to measure and come up with my true length line. So what happens if Somebody gives you the slope angle, the true length line, and gives you your uh, bearing. Then what do you do? Hmm, something to think about. Well, if I can find a file real quick, we'll look at it. Uh, but we'll do that on another video. And um, 
we'll just call this good for now. So this is how you do bearing. Like I said, bearing. Now, when you're talking about bearing, let's just, before we close out here, let's talk about bearing. So bearing is based off of north or south, all right? And it's north, so many degrees east, so many degrees west. If you were, you know, talking about, you know, figuring out a bearing for, let's say you were working on uh, surveying something and you're surveying a piece of property and so it's north 60 degree 63 degrees east that would be my bearing for this so my bearing angle when we're looking at angles is, is this is north is going up this way or up this way and um, typically what you're going to be looking at is you're going to stay either on the you're probably going to stay on the right hand side is what we're looking at for bearings so don't worry about having to necessarily go this way but we'll look at the other assignment and go from there um, but I wanted to make sure that we had something in here that would help you out and maybe uh, help you get a hundred on your uh, assignment and not have to go back and say oh did you look at the video because that's going to be my first question Anyway, uh, good luck, have fun, and take care out there.